Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews, coming to you today as a part of Red Hot October. It's a Wednesday, so it means it's an episode of Ran It Out. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what pisses me off the most when I get on social media these days, and that is the relatability factor. The fact that people just post things so that they'll get likes. Have you ever seen something like this? Like and share this if you've ever done this. Like and share if this ever happened to you. Like and share if whenever you were a kid you took the blankets and made a fort out of them. I see shit like this every fucking day in my news feeds and I have had it up to here. The fact that people feel the need to follow these accounts, especially on Twitter. You'll find that these accounts have like millions of followers and reading through some of my friends that I follow on Twitter or have recently unfollowed, they follow accounts like this. Tweet like a girl. Kardashian reactions. What else do we have here? Because I'm a guy. These are the titles of the Twitter accounts that just people follow. Even some of them, their at usernames are at relatable or at relatable quotes. It's obvious to me that they're just doing it for attention. They call themselves parody accounts often. Maybe they'll put Will Ferrell as the profile picture and call it like Phil Werrell. Or there's one that says like Fat Amy or something like that on Twitter. And honestly, I don't understand the point of it. Why do we want to see relatable things? Why does our society feel the need to kind of just tag their friends in something? There will be a tweet and then someone will quote the tweet on Twitter and then tag like eight people afterwards and say, ha 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 ha, this is so us. And it makes me want to punch you in the fucking throat. It just makes me want to not be anything like any of these people. It makes me want to dare to be different because if this is the norm, if this is what because I'm a guy is supposed to sound like or what a girl tweets like, then I don't want to be with anyone like that. I don't want to be around people who follow the stereotypes and say, hey, this is so us. I want someone who doesn't give a fuck about these things and can't stand the fact that this is what is popular in our society. We feel the need to show everything to our friends, have our friends laugh with us. There are just so many people out there that are just making these accounts and preying on the fact that, yeah, this is relatable, this will catch on. I see the most ridiculous accounts getting made. I mean, fuck, there's one for hamsters wearing things on themselves. And there's one for rabbits with objects sitting on top of them. There's like an Instagram and Twitter account for that very reason. And people follow it. It's probably got like 100,000 followers by now. People in our society have fucked up ideas and they follow this and you know spend probably hours looking through their Twitter feed at all of the things that these things post. If you follow 20 of those accounts and sit there and look through every picture and relatable quote that they post, you're gonna waste your life away. And I feel like that's what Tumblr does as well. At times, it depends what accounts you're following. There are some that are genuinely worth following, but I think that just reading through these threads that just post relatable things, stuff that we all already know, doesn't benefit us in any way. We're not learning anything. We're sitting there wasting time. So why do it? That ends my rant for today. I'm going to cap it off before I feel like I go on for too long. And I'm sorry if I offended you, but that's just how I feel. Leave your thoughts on the whole relatable situation in the comment section down below. I don't even know what to call this video. I guess you'll figure it out by the time I've uploaded and thrown a title on it. Of course, you can request future rants from me in the comment section down below. I've got a few left in the month of October as a part of Red Hot October, and then I'll probably still be doing Rant It Out on a maybe like an every few weeks or so basis, maybe monthly. We'll see. Well, of course, show me you like the video, hit the like button, maybe share it with a friend. <laughs> see what I did there? It's relatable. Share it. I'm just kidding. You don't have to share it. Don't tag a friend. I don't care. Actually, I don't want you to tag a friend. Don't tell anyone. This video is a secret. See you soon. Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys.